ah, hi boys and girls, maybe it was Mike Kelly, <laughs> and it was forum.com, and Real Illusion Forum. Here's what I did. I had this routine. Let me go back here. Hopefully it's still cooking here back in, uh, in yes, yeah, good. It's still importing back here. Okay, so you notice, I exported this from Daz, this, this, uh, oh, can I move that? No, I can't move that. All right, so this, this knight's costume. And when I exported it from Daz, I could tell that the textures weren't all there. Uh, I could tell that, uh, and I can't do it now because I'm, I'm bringing it back into Character Creator. But if you look here, the base colors here, but the metallic and the roughness maps and the bump maps, they didn't come in. So I figured that, that was wrong. So I went into uh, iClone and I brought this this in, and I'll explain how I do that in a second. I, I basically went to Character Creator and I went, uh, you know, file and export to iClone. So it came over to iClone and then I ran my routine, which I think I've done videos on. Uh, on uh, getting the textures and things for props and environments. And sure enough, it works fine for this. The only caveat is, uh, and I'll explain in a second what you have to do. There's a couple things you have to do. Uh, but anyway, I found all the textures. It takes a long time to run. So you have to, if you have a lot of textures, this one has a lot. And if I go in here and modify, you'll see that there's, uh, it found uh, the bump maps and the metallics and the roughness. It brought all those in for all of those things, which, um, Character creator didn't do uncharacteristically. Usually, character creator is pretty good at this, and I'll talk to the developers and hopefully we can get that fixed. But in the meantime, this is a fix for it. Now, if you do this, you've got to export it from Daz twice. First time you export it as an FBX, which you're going to use to bring in via transformer to character creator to here, and you know use transformer. And then the second time you export it, you'll have to export it as an OBJ, and you very specifically have to export it as cc underscore base and that's because that's the name of the of, of it as you transfer it back over from character creator to iClone when you just send it over there it'll call it cc underscore base so when you export it as an obj here just call it cc underscore base and then my routine in my python routine will correctly identify that and find all the textures it won't find the textures for the uh for that, see, notice it find, didn't find the head and the, and the tongue. The, it won't find the textures for the character, uh, and, and we wouldn't expect it to anyway because that's uh, remapped in uh, in Character Creator, uh, and we don't and we don't need it to. We just needed to find the character uh, to the textures for this. So anyway, so that looks a lot better. So that's that's and then once it's back in here with all the right textures, if we go now to the uh, any of these. We click on one of these. You'll see it found the metallics and the rough and the buttons. Now, now we can go ahead and save this back out. Now you might say to me, Mike, well, I could do this too. I could just put in all these, you know, maps. And you could, but there's a lot of maps. In this particular one, you'd have to do them for each one of these sections. And I would, and there's just a lot of different uh, things that I did. Uh, you know, so there's all these different sections that you would have to do. It's a lot of work. So and if you guys know me, I'm all about not doing much work. Um, the other thing I had to do was I had to bring the helmet in separately because the helmet has a visor. So, and I've shown this before on my, tu on my video tutorials too. Uh, in order to make a subprop out of this, you have to bring this in as an OBJ. I made a subprop out of the visor. And then that way, if I, if I go in here, this one doesn't have the subprop. And you'll notice I can't do anything about it. But in here, because this has the subprop, uh, I can go ahead and uh, rotate that. So now you can do that. So. Uh, so in order, now that it's a subprop, I'm going to want to go ahead and, and attach it to this character. And if you attach it to the character, then that will make it a prop uh, that you can then uh, bring over. So you can, uh, actually it says it's attached to temporary avatar. I'm so kind of surprised it didn't bring itself back over here. Uh, 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 let's turn that off. No? It didn't bring itself back over there. That's kind of weird. Uh, I'll have to look and see what's going on with that exactly. Because uh, it should have, it actually should have, uh, should have brought it back there. But there might be something else I'm not thinking of. That's attach. I don't know what I'm thinking. Of. Maybe it, maybe it needs to be attached to the head. Maybe that's the problem. Uh, I'll work that out. But anyway, that's. Uh, I just wanted to quickly explain that you can use my program to um, to go ahead and and get the textures that aren't gotten from clothing. So uh, that's all I have for now, and we'll see you on the forums.